Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Nursing Home. I'm your host today. My name is Chef. How's everyone doing? I'm doing well. Good. Thanks. Have a nice day. Uh, so today I just realized I got 30 levels and with 30 levels comes a, an enchantment. Cause I want to enchant because I'm like a normal Minecraft player that enchants items. You know how it is. But the only problem is I don't have an enchanting table myself. So I'm going to have to go to my neighbor's place and use their enchanting table. So I'm here at Lily's Island. Lily and Maddie's Island. So, ooh, that's dangerous. I'm here at Lily and Maddie's Island to get to her enchanting table. However, I want to take a quick look at this place. This place looks very nice, very nice. Very, very pretty, very pretty. If you look at all the things, there's like things everywhere. And she got some fine ass dams up here. It's like, damn girl, what you doing? Damn girl, what you doing? Like, damn. And she got some trees and some mushrooms. And she got some lavas. And Short's got an RV and stuff. It's like, damn. <laughs> what a bad joke, God. Idiot. Anyways, I've been running around this place for about five minutes now looking for her enchanting table. And uh, it's actually right in between this this pink, which might be a cherry tree. I don't know. But it's right in here, just hiding its way. Not easy to get to. But it would make sense. I guess there's more than one. Oh, wow, there's a lot of ways to get to it. Oh, that is zombie Piggles. Where you at, zombie Piggles? You cutie. Not here. He's gone. All right, anyways, let's get this, uh, oh, speak of the devil, let's get this enchantment done. So what is our thing? Oh, this isn't, is that better? That's 30. Fortune 2 is what we're going to, eh. We'll take it. All right, that'll be fine. Efficiency 4, I'm breaking 3, Fortune 2. It's not perfect, but it's definitely not bad. Um, let's take a, another look at this place. I mean, this place looks nice. I don't know if that's hers as well, but it's got like a, an octopus or a kraken or a squid. Uh, who knows? Maybe it's her children. Maybe that's what she, uh, maybe that's her depiction of her children. But anyways, this place looks very, very nice. Very organized and everything. And is this like a, oh, a four tall sugar cane? I won't punch that then. Nice view of the Kids Bop Mansion right down there, which is full of chests, and there's a, a mule. Hmm, I love mules. Especially when you go to the bar and you get the mules, and they always have deals on them. I'm not an alcoholic. Promise. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back home. We live this way. Uh, and I'm not going to show me getting over there the whole way because it is quite a ways. Oh, and look at all these half-eaten cakes. This makes the chef very, very sad. Someone worked very hard on these cakes, and they're only are half eaten. This makes the chef very, very sad and very disappointed in the world. Please finish your cakes. Please. Please finish cakes. As a chef. Please. Please finish cakes. Please don't let cakes go uneaten. Thank you. And we're back, everyone. Look how good this view looks right here. With the, uh, you got the the boat here, and you got the beautiful, beautiful houses in the background. Just looking over, unfinished boat that is. But that's not the point of this episode. Someone came through and shared all my water sheep, and they can't grow their wool back. Those poor guys. We gotta slaughter some pigs, probably. It's just getting out of hand. We can't do this. Anyways, I decided to start a little, uh, a little cow farm here. So, what better place than inside this boat for right now? Probably temporary, because I'll probably kill them all one day. Who knows? I know. I actually already have a plan, but I'm not gonna tell you. But I did finish off the front of this boat here. Um, it doesn't look the best. <laughs> and I might change it. Um... But you can't really see it. It's almost like it's a straight line. So if I were to go to the front up here. I don't want to jump in the water because it's so hard to get out. But if I were to come up here and take a look at it. 
Yeah, see, it looks like it's just a straight line. But if we do decide to change it, it's not going to be by much. Um, today, well, not today because we already had it at the beginning of this episode. But I wanted to show you guys right now that I've had a change of heart. I've had a big change of heart. This area back here, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous area. And I just, I don't want it to go unused. So I decided I'm going to make, I'm going to expand this type of village and I'm going to put it all through here. So this is going to be a pretty big town. Um, and as you can see, I laid all these cobblestone uh, blocks down because that's going to be the, the path. I mean, it's not like the permanent path because... It's not really set in stone. It's just cobblestone right now, so maybe later I'll, I'll put stone down and then that'll be permanent. But who knows. But I wanted to uh, build all these styles of houses in this little area here. And this time I'm going to put a bridge here. Um, I might tear it more away to make the bridge actually seem necessary, but who knows. I know. I don't actually know. But yeah, I was walking... Oh, I thought that guy just despawned, like, right there. I'm like, what? I was uh, just walking around my uh, my complex yesterday, and I was looking, and I'm like, wow, this place actually looks really nice, and it would be pretty cool to have something like this. So, and it's actually very similar. A lot of tall buildings all pushed together. Oh, hi, witch. What are you doing? You trying to do some mining? Trying to do some mining? But, yeah, oh, I never finished <laughs> Whoops, don't look at that, don't look at that. But I saw the, uh, I saw all these houses and I'm like, wow, that, that looks really nice. I want to do something like this in Minecraft. And I have this gorgeous land here that I don't want to go to waste. So we're going to use it. We're going to use it by putting a bunch of houses in here. And I don't know if I'm going to have any, like, like, a focus points, kind of like uh, things that you would see in a, a village, like a church or... Uh, other things in the village, <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna put houses, tall, dark, and handsome houses, right in here. Also, one other thing, one very depressing thing, as you can see, I have 21 levels. That's because I died for the very first time. Yep, I was doing some cave exploring. Mining away because I got my brand new pick and I wanted to get some sweet, sweet goodies. And I came to a ravine and there was a creeper and I tried to place lava on him because I didn't have a sword. And I succeeded in that. I placed the lava on the creeper. The creeper uh, burned up and died. I turn around and there's a creeper in my face and I explode and I died. Luckily I got all my things back though. So it wasn't a total loss. The only thing we lost was our 30. We had like 31 levels at the time. Uh, but what's important is we got... Oh, just like that. Rip, guy. Oh, that's good enough. But what's important is we got our pick back. Because if we lost our pick, I would have probably cried. And I would have been very, very sad. But that's irrelevant anymore. Because we are past that. We are moved on. We're grown-ups. I wanted to get this part put in here. Because as you can see, I'm going to have this come up out to here. And this is where it's going to be. So we can probably... I can fit two more houses in here between this walkway and uh, the house here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start placing how, um, like the foundation for a house. So one, two, three, four, five. And... It just feels it feels like it's been so long since I've worked on any of uh, any houses in this kind of fashion here. I mean, not this fashion, but like over in this area. It feels like it's been so long since I've worked on these because I haven't done anything since I completed this row here. Like I've done no houses like this, and it it hurts. It physically hurts me. It makes me want to cry. So we'll go ahead and place this little. Whoops, that's not where you go. We'll place this little uh, foundation for two houses, and we'll see how it looks. In this front part, I'm not going to put all level here, but the back, it's going to be all dipped down and everything, and they're all going to be different heights and everything, which should look A-OK, -okay, if you ask me. If I were the teacher, I would give it an A+. Plus. But... I think that's because I'm a little biased, because I'll be grading my own papers. And I can't grade my papers, that's just 
Actually, let's go one more in front. There we go. And if we do that, we'll still have plenty of room because this will turn here towards this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then we'll put this one here. And we're going to have to tear this all out. So that means I'm probably going to level this too and level that side. Uh, I'm doing a lot of terrain defamation. But it's all in the name of the Lord. The Lord's work. I am the Lord of this area. So, Oh, one more thing I wanted to show you. This is We're going to be doing that off camera probably because that's a little tedious. One more thing I wanted to show you. If you look at that mountain right there, that is a beautiful mountain and my that's one of the most beautiful mountains I've ever seen in Minecraft and I was walking along uh, I was walking up no excuse me I was walking over there and I I saw that mountain and I'm like oh that'd be really nice to build on but what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna have this this walkway come through like all the way here it's gonna avoid the mine area it's gonna actually overlook the mining area but we'll probably make our way up there and up to the mountain and I think up there I want to put like a place of uh, of worship, a place where people can just hang out and praise whatever god they they'll praise here. Because that's kind of like kind of like in Skyrim how you have the seven thousand steps, but at the top it's not a worshiping spot. It's a uh, it's like a castle that these guys that live in that they don't want to hang out with anyone because they're sad and lonely probably. But kind of like that. That's what I want to do. But I'm going to do a little bit of work off camera, and then we're going to come back, and we might pay a visit over there to our fishing village, because we're kind of neglecting it now. It's, oh, you grew already. It's kind of just sitting over there lonely with no one to help. Anyways, I'm a quick cut. Be right back. Looking at that boat from way over here, it looks a little droopy, like real droopy. You can see it droops down and then straight out. And then it droops on the front, droops. Hmm. I think it looks alright. I think it looks just fine. I think we're gonna be okay. I think we'll manage. So as you can tell, we are back over here at the fishing village. And uh oh man, I haven't been here in so long. Kinda missed the place. Kinda missed it. I mean I totally forgot that we were doing this little expansion thing here. To make it seem nice and larger than it actually is but <clears throat> being over here compared to me being just over there and me getting inspired I want to say over there having a change of heart made me want to have a change of heart over here as well because I wasn't planning on making this very big but now that I have that it's gonna be big I want to have these houses come all around here like come down here come up here just all through here and then I'll probably like stop at the sand there or something but yeah I just oh, man I just there's so much I want to do just get in, get so inspired and then I'll have to have a, a easy walkway down of course but ooh, getting nighttime I'm gonna go and try and sleep real quick but yeah it's looking pretty pretty good so far Oh, look, someone already trying to buy some stuff from the stalls. The stalls are closed, buddy. The stalls are closed. Come back in like seven years. Minecraft years. Ah, that's good. Back, back. So yeah, I was uh, over here. Like I said, I got a change of heart. Burn, baby. Burn, baby. I got a change of heart. Um, I'm going to make this much bigger. And I definitely want to make the fishing village large would you die already jesus but i replaced this with string the fences that were here so that is you can't even tell that's what it's going to look like pretty much um, well we got to put the back in there of course and then i put another stall in here these guys are going to be able to like these are going to be one wide so people will be in here work in their stall and then they'll be able to come out but they can't come out at the same time they got to take turns they got to behave and stuff so yeah, we'll like run the stalls through here. We'll run like rows of stalls. Or maybe we'll just have stalls on the outside and on the inside will be like a big cult meeting. 
Who knows? <laughs> but... I decided how I want the docks here. Um, this is what I want to do. I want to have this big platform of the acacia wood here. And I want to have the dock coming out this way. Whoops, we only supposed to place one. I want to have the dock coming out this way, and then they can, when people bring their stuff, they can load it and they'll bring it to here and stuff. Just how it goes in real life. So, I definitely found. Ooh, how far is this? One, two, three, two. Guy. Yeah, there you go. Why did it take him forever to burn? Feels like it took way too long to burn. But. Yeah, I want to make these four wide. I mean, that was just luck placement. Four perfect. Oh, but you know what? These aren't going to be just one wide. Uh, these are probably going to be two. And they're not going to be there. They're going to be up. Actually, no, I'm gonna, I am going to have it come down. Because that's how it is on the other side there. So I will bring these down. One half of a slab. This guy needs to just burn already, seriously. Whoops. There we go. Is that the block? So yeah, we're going to bring this all the way across here. And this is... We're pretty much going to get a skeleton of what it's going to look like. Would you not do that, guy? And then I'll have my... Uh, then I'll have my... Logs in every once in a while. Occasionally, just to make it look like it's actually grounded and not just floating we'll come back for that I really hate this this really pisses me off that thing this server play not even server sometimes it happens in single player which is irritating to no end like seriously I did not place it there like how could I have placed that block there I couldn't have. I couldn't have. freaking gravity doesn't work This has got to be a joke by now. It's got to be a joke. Okay, so anyways, this is what our skeleton is going to look like. Imagine this is all acacia in here. Acacia slabs. It's going to be big. We're going to have a bunch of traders coming out here. And this is all going to be acacia. So they're going to bring their... They're going to dock their boats in here. Actually, I feel like I should move this out a little more. Just because... Or I should just take out this little this little part here. I think I'll just take that out because it'll be easier. So they'll come, they'll bring their docks in here, they'll load it up, and they'll bring it to the centralized location. It's looking, uh, I think it's gonna look alright. I think it's gonna look alright. It's gonna get a point across. We are going to be able to <laughs> export and import all kinds of goods, and sooner rather than later, we will have our own capitalist economy where we'll take advantage of all the consumers. That sounds like a good idea, if you ask me. <laughs> I have more slaps. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think I'm going to call it here on this episode. We, uh, we got a lot done. No, we didn't actually. We just pretty much explained what we wanted to do. And... We didn't execute too much of it, but at least you guys know, at least you guys are in the loop of what I'm doing here, so you'll be the first. You'll know before I even do, I bet, because I did never know with my own stuff. Anyways, off topic. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, leave a like if you did, and I hope you have a great day. Have a good one.